all the unpacking is still happening right in front of my bookshelf. All my college stuff. Hey fellow reading warriors and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen my past couple of videos then you might not know that yes, I am home and that is why my background has changed and right now I'm just kind of sitting on my bed because all of my stuff that I'm currently unpacking is in front of my bookshelf on the floor so it's kind of hard for me to film there plus the lighting is just crazy because I have this little hub corner room on the main floor and it just does not have great lighting there literally is no light in the ceiling the light that I get is from lamps around my room I have one big lamp in the corner over a table where I do my homework and then I have a little like desk lamp over my bookshelf but it's really not great for filming or anything like that it's just to try and get some more light in here especially when there's no sunlight coming from outside and it's kind of a bummer but um yeah so I'm still trying to figure that out as I'm unpacking but today is April 1st and it is like 4 35 30 right now I just got done with all of my classes and I made dinner dinner is in the oven so yeah I get done with my homework like right before dinner or like right as it's time to start making dinner so most of my reading is gonna be after dinner mostly in the evening which is great for one of the prompts for the astronomy prompts because that's to read a book only at night uh, or while it's dark outside but I may have to end up doing it with all of my books just because that's how homework works out with me. I do homework in the morning until all of my classes are done, especially with my online classes. I have a couple um, that are kind of later in the day. Um, but other than that, I'm going to try and devote as much time to reading as possible, but homework will be a priority. Uh, that being said, uh, it is the beginning of my owls today. April 1st, a very great day in my opinion for many, many, many reasons. Um, and I've decided to start off with a book that's going to complete one of my arithmancy prompts. And that prompt is to read something that's not your favorite genre. So I'm actually reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Children, Home for Peculiar Children. The story is by Ransom Riggs and the art is by Cassandra Jean. My room is also right by the back door. So anytime any anyone comes home or leaves, it's going to be right here. It's great. Anyway. So this is the graphic novel version of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I've chosen this because it is a graphic novel for two reasons. One being, <laughs> it's April and my goal was to try and read as many graphic novels as possible over the month of April, but with the library shut down, that's going to be really hard because I don't own a lot of them. And two, I've chosen to read this one because both are kind of not my favorite genres, both graphic novels, but also like thriller almost I'm not quite sure what it would be because it's not like horror but it's not quite thriller you know just like it's not quite my genre the spooky I, l I like it around Halloween and in movies but not so much in books so that's gonna be my first read I'm also choosing it because hopefully I'll go through it very quickly so I can kind of get a good start on this because it is going to be quite a busy month. This is when all of my papers are due right before my exams. So we're just gonna do our best here. But I will catch up with you guys later once I've had a chance to do some reading. So stay tuned in like two seconds. Who, 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 who's ready for some spooky lighting? It is the end of the first day of April, the first day of the OWLs, and I am getting ready for bed, and as I normally do before bed, I am getting ready to read. And the first book that I've decided to read is one for my arithmetic class, and is a graphic novel, which fulfills my April thing that I've talked about many times in the past couple of videos, and that is the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, uh, written by Ransom Riggs, but... The art is by Cassandra Jean. I'm excited to start this, and that's kind of why I made the lighting this spooky, because it's an eerie tale, I think. So I'm going to start this. I'm hoping to get a decent chunk of the way through it. There's a little part of me that wants to finish it tonight, and that would be really cool, but it would also be a bad idea because I need to sleep for school tomorrow. But I also really want to just read this plus it would just be a great kickoff to on the first day I have already read a book 
there aren't page numbers, but it doesn't seem super thick, and it's a graphic novel, so I think I'll read it pretty quickly. But yeah, so that's gonna be all I do for day one. Um, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and let you know how much of this I read and what my plan is for the next day or so. So here I go. Good morning, everyone. It is almost 10 o'clock on April 2, and I just woke up. I woke up an hour later than I meant to, but you know, I think it's okay, because I stayed up pretty late last night because I actually finished Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel. I actually finished it. I finished this entire book. It's a graphic novel, so like I hoped, it did not take very long for me to read. It took maybe like 45 minutes, I want to say. But there are a couple parts I wanted to go back and reread because they weren't like super clear or I just wanted to make sure that I understood it correctly because like it was good and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the method of it. Like I, I had obviously the art from it being a graphic novel, but it still included the pictures from like the original novel and like the movie and stuff that were of the kids like the old-fashioned pictures which was really cool I really liked that and then another really cool thing that this thing that this book did was that they made it so when he's in the real world everything is in, is in black and white but then when he crosses over into the loop it's in color and I really appreciated that because it was very easy to tell like especially with the transitions when it, it would end a conversation with him in the loop and then the very next scene would be him in black and white talking to his dad and like if it weren't for that color change I would be very confused like all the time so I appreciated that they did that it was a very fast paced you know like this happened then this happened then this happened then this happened like the beginning was ever so slightly slow but it just picked up and went off after that which I didn't have a problem with um, I really enjoyed it, but then it's like, when it came to these moments where I had a lot to explain, it was like, okay, I'm gonna need to read it a couple times just to make sure that I got it, but it also just wasn't that confusing, I think, but it might have also helped that I have seen the movie before this, so I know what things are called and I know how different things work, um, but yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it, I rated it 3 out of 5 stars, wasn't my favorite. I still have a couple other little things that I was like, eh. But, yeah. So, April 2, 10 o'clock in the morning, one book done. Yay. I am now going to do my schoolwork, and then after my schoolwork, I will film and let you guys know what I'm going to read next, because it's probably going to be another one of the shorter books, but I'll get there when I'm done with my classes and stuff, so... Here we go. Alrighty, it is 12.33, so it's technically in the morning of April 3, but I haven't gone to bed yet, so we're just gonna say it's the night of April 2. Um, last night I finished Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel, and I have not been able to read yet today because I have had to do five classes today not a great excuse, but also just not a great situation to be in, especially this early on in a readathon. So because of that, I thought I'd start reading another short book. Maybe I'll finish to it tonight, but I don't think it'll be quite as quick a read as the last one was, so maybe I'll finish it tomorrow, because tomorrow there is less on my plate in terms of my schedule. So I am going to read Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, Barry, whatever. Um... This is for my potions class because it is under 150 pages. This one is actually 148 pages, so I'm just barely fitting the prompt. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start this tonight, and uh, hopefully I can get like halfway through it, maybe a little more, just depending on how quickly I read this, depending on like the style of the writing and dens density and stuff like that. So we're going to head to bed reading this. Um, in terms of how much I'll be vlogging, I'm going to try and vlog as much as possible, but I also know I'm really only going to vlog if I'm reading during the day, which is a very hard for me to thing to do. So I'm going to do my best to not only vlog 
during the day I'm going to try and vlog at night, but I also don't want to vlog when it's 12.30 at night. If I'm going to vlog, it's going to be earlier on in the night, um, which really just depends on my homework load in the day. So I'm not making any promises, but I am going to try and do my best. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start reading Peter Pan, finally, for my potions requirements. Hey guys, it is April 4 and it's about 5.30 in the afternoon. I just got back from a walk with my wonderful father listening to some audiobooks. But now I'm finally going to sit down and do some reading now that I actually have time on my hands. Um, I am going to be reading more of Peter Pan. I read the first chapter and then I went to bed. And so now I'm going to sit here. I'm going to really try and finish it soon. Slash I'm going to finish it today. It's just a matter of if I can finish this and still have time to start another book or if I'm just going to finish it and that's going to be like the achievement. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Darling at the <laughs> Hey guys, it is now April 5 and it's about 3.30 in the afternoon and I just finished reading Peter Pan. It was 148 pages on Goodreads. It says it's like 176 or something, but that's because it includes uh, like the um, end notes and other things that aren't part of the story. But it says on a hun page 148, the end at the bottom of the page and there's no more story story afterwards there's no epilogue or anything like that so i'm still including this as um a completed requirement for my potions yay i have two classes down which i was hoping to have maybe three down by now but uh we'll see um but yeah i uh, peter pan has his very own unique magic which is uh, and i don't mean like magic system but i mean like you know, it's just a very nostalgic story, and I knew everything that was going to happen, but to actually, like, read it and get a little more description with the characters was just very interesting, and, like, oh, I don't know, it just had a special place in my heart, and then that, like, ending was so, I don't want to say melancholic, but it was, like, oh, you know, it, was, it, was, it drains the emotion out of you, which I actually, normally I I don't typically go for that, but like this time, it was right. It was a great way to spend my Sunday afternoon, was to finish it. And I mean, I, I feel like I can't give spoilers for this because like everyone knows the story of Peter Pan. Like the thing about this is that it had so many different themes, lines, actions from like, you know, the cartoon, or if you've seen the movie Hook, like, it had some of those elements in it, like, with the character Hook being all about good form, or, you know, death is the next greatest adventure, and, uh, just things like that. It, 
and why don't little children love me? But, you know, still, it book done. Oh, so now I'm going to go choose my next book. Alrighty, so now I'm choosing a new book, and these are all the books that I have yet to read. They are all what I need to read in order to finish. These books over here, these, these two over here are for the seminar. That's The Mermaid and The Little Prince. So I'm going to try and save those for last, which means these are really the books I am choosing from. Sorry, my space heater's on in the background. I'm going to wait for this one, my Ancient Runes one, because I'm reading this for my college class, and so I'm going to read it during that time so that I can get my homework and my, this readathon just kind of be double productive here. So I'm also not going to choose that one as well as those two, which means I have these ones left. Now I'm going to choose this one I'm saving for nighttime, so it's not one I'm going to start right now. I'm thinking one of the ones on the top, either this one to finish the series, because you know, I recently read the first three books and I don't want to forget too many details before I move on to the next one, versus all the rest of these are just kind of standalone. So it is the end of April 5, and I'm just going to give you an end of the day update. I got up to chapter, I think, 8 in center, which is pretty good. Um, I wish I could have been a little further, but I mean, also at the same time, I'm already up to chapter 8, which is pretty nice considering all of the things I did today that weren't just reading. Um, before I go to bed, I'm going to do some reading, but I don't think I'm going to do it out of here. I think I'm going to get started on The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, because this is the book that I want to read only when it's dark outside, and it is a bit of a thicker book for this month. Um, so I'm just going to get started on this one, and I'm going to try and have it where I only read Night Circus when it's dark outside, and then all throughout the day I will be reading Sinner just to try and get two books done. I think I'll be more productive in that way if I'm not doing anything during the day then I can pick up center and I don't have to be like oh but wait I'm reading the night circus and I can only read that when it's dark out but then at the same time when it's dark out I can afford to read something else that you know is required to be when it's dark out so um, it just allows me to read something whenever I have the time or whenever I have the urge to sit down and start reading something. Um, normally, growing up, I actually read multiple books at a time, and that was very common for me, and I never got confused, and I just, ha I handled it really well, I was able to do that really well. In recent months, and in kind of in recent years, I've stopped doing that just because I don't quite know why I stopped doing it, I just stopped enjoying it, and I feel like... I don't know, it's just so much easier to just read a book all the way through, and I feel like that's really what you should do with books. I mean, if you guys read more than one book at a time, I'm not saying that you can't or anything crazy like that. Um, I'm just saying I used to do that, and I had nothing against it, but now I'm kind of sitting here, and it's nice to just have a book to sit down and focus on 
but because I'm trying to do so much during this readathon and some of it is not time sensitive and that I have to get it done soon but like it matters when I read it I think I am going to read two books right now at least until I finish um, the night circus and then I'll go back to just doing one book whenever I want um, yeah so I am not gonna read very much of the night circus because it is pretty late and I do have classes tomorrow because it's a Monday so um, I'm just gonna read the first couple of pages and head to bed and call it a night so Sweet dreams, my reading warriors. So I haven't vlogged in a hot minute, and it is now April 8th at like 11 o'clock in the morning. I just finished one of my classes, and I am at like chapter 13, 14 of Center, and I was kind of hoping to have it done by now, or at least almost done, but um, I'm going to still try and finish it today, if not make a lot of progress. Um, I kind of have a lighter homework day. That's not to say that I will always have lighter homework days on Wednesdays, though, especially since tomorrow uh, I will have a presentation, um, and I'm kind of freaking out about that. Um, but yeah, so just a quick little update. Also, I'm not getting very far into the night circus yet, just because, like, by the time I get into my room, like, to get ready for bed or to read, I'm always just super tired and just end up falling right to sleep. Um, my mom and I can say